Hello, my name is Ariel Newell, and today I will explain effect theory and how it can be manipulated in PR and advertisement. An Inventory of Shimmers by Gregory Seekworth and Melissa Craig speaks about the in-betweenness of effect theory. Melissa Craig works in the Department of Gender and Cultural Studies at the University of Sydney in Australia. Gregory Siegworth is a professor in communication and theater at Miller's View University in Pennsylvania. Effect, as they have defined, is simply the way that things are connected and how it creates feelings and meanings for others. In Siegworth and Craig's work, the physical body is spoken about often throughout the text. They presume that bodies are vehicles of giving effect and receiving effect because we are all webbed together by the ways we interact and are acted upon. In a nutshell, our bodies are not inflicted to act until a force is pushed upon us to do so. Effect is a very broad, wild, unpredictable, and pre-subjective theory. There is yet to be a study that generalizes the theory of effect, and there might not ever be one. Effect is essentially a silent force that acts upon us and creates overwhelming sensations. It is a phenomenon that studies the association of human connections to others and objects. Effect is impulsive reactions to an object, person, or place that brings up overwhelming feelings, such as a dog is an object of effect that brings back memories and feelings of companionship, friendship, and other feelings. Objects that create meaning for you are your objects of effect. For parents, seeing a baby bottle or pacifier may bring back feelings of excitement and zealous joy of the night their child was born, or could bring back feelings of sleepiness and irritation of the late restless nights of coddling a newborn back to sleep. For some, objects such as liquor bottles or needles may trigger feelings of abandonment, fear, numbness, loss, and escapism. This overwhelming feeling might affect people to cause great harm to themselves and others. There is no positive nor negative effect, because effect is unpredictable and has no governing laws of feelings. It can fluctuate between the two consistently and endlessly. This is because effect resolves around the push and pull of belongingness and emotion. Let's take a look at how PR and advertisement professionals use this theory to manipulate consumers' purchase intentions. Commercials have been used for decades to entice buyers' spending habits. They do this by playing a game of effect in the marketplace. Effect in the context of campaigns is when Coca-Cola commercials play before a movie and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you are super thirsty and could really go for a Coke. This is because advertisers stop at no cost to make you feel a certain way to buy a product no matter if it's good or ethical for you. A giant culprit of this style of advertising is the large alcohol and tobacco companies, whom have been criticized many times for misusing their products to calculate explicitly wrong effects. Bud Light, the light alternative to Budweiser, had faced backlash in 2015 after releasing their hashtag up for whatever ad campaign. This campaign included an updated slogan on their aluminum cans. The slogan read, the perfect beer for removing no from your vocabulary for the night. Hashtag up for whatever. Bud Light targeted audience is the men ages 21 to 34. By releasing this ad campaign, Budweiser was affecting their target audience by suggesting purchasing a can of beer can give you the power to do whatever you want, even if no is in the sentence. No means no 
is a common slogan for sexual assault awareness and anti-rape campaigns. By saying removing no from Bud Light is encouraging rape culture. This relates to effect theory because it is pushing a feeling of power, success, and have it all mentality onto the consumer. Improper use of effect in campaigns leads to companies being in control of you and your purchase intentions. If Bud Light did not remove the slogan and kept the campaign running, the repercussions could have led to multiple lawsuits and sexual assault allegations. Although there are many dangers with effect theory and PR, that does not mean that effect is always a bad thing. Effect is and should be used to create commonalities and associateships to empower one another. Effect helps us understand and interpret our cultures, which is why we in current America know that removing no from your vocabulary is an ethical nightmare. This is why I like to view effect as the glue between two links that create our social identity, realities, and knowledge webs. Effect is how we connect the word hot to a flame and cold to an ice cube. Manipulations of these connections can be dangerous, but they can be positive, to which is why it is important to look at how and why companies campaign a product a certain way and ask the tough questions. What effect is this having on me? Am I purchasing this product because it makes me cool or reminds me of a person, place, or time? Am I purchasing this because it's doing good? And most importantly, who is in control?